Red Kite's got just under 6,000 properties and they're spread on a 124 mile radius, big area. We're a young organisation, we're only formed 2011. We want to be different, we are different. We are tenant led and we're proud of that. When Red Kite was set up, we made a number of promises to our tenants and one of them was to look at the renewable side of the energy within our properties. We have villages where they're still on electric only, so their fuel costs are very high. The tenants couldn't actually afford heating their properties, so they did actually turn off their heating to several rooms within their properties, then which caused the telltale signs of condensation throughout the property. So we were very concerned and we were very passionate about working with these tenants and we asked them exactly what they would want regarding the heat inside. A lot of housing associations, local authorities just come in and change like for like because we are different, because we are tenant led, we work with our tenants and this is exactly what our tenants wanted. Red Kite went through the procurement process with two suppliers, Mokram presented what Mitsubishi could offer. Out of that process it was quite evident Mark was as passionate as what we were, making this work and working together. This is the second year at our first phase was only literally fitted this time last year so we're seeing the benefits so this is where we can recall the data of the savings it's actually been running for a full year we followed the whole tenant involvement the tenant participation by having the works agreed and picked by the procurement group right through work with tenants the whole stage all the way through to installation we've even got tenants actually inspecting the works uh, by the installer, TSG. So we've got complete tenant involvement. Red Kite's champion from phase one is a tenant who lives in a three bedroom house. She's got a multi-fuel park ray back boiler. It was costing her 600 pounds a year on the multi-fuel, that's coal and timber. And she had the backup heating on the storage heaters. Since she had the air source heat pumps, and their direct debit being reduced by £100, the RHI has come at the right time for Red Kite, which has allowed us now to rethink and to relook at our heating programme uh, with the benefit of actually installing more uh, Mitsubishi air source heat pumps throughout the district. We've gone away, we've spoken to TSG, who's helped us on the RHI, because this is all new to our organisation and we've come up with a business plan and we've actually found out um, working with TSG and Mitsubishi the cost savings for the organisation. It's literally costing us £2,000-£2,500 to do this insulation. That's once we get the capital from the Scottish Energy Trust and also for the payments over a seven year period from RHI. We've got a huge programme throughout Red Kite for delivering the insulation of the properties, fitting new roofs, new windows. So we're doing the upgrade works and then fitting these have come out at the right time for us. Mitsubishi Electric has been absolutely brilliant. From day one, I've been lucky enough to get a mock rump Mark has been there day and night. Mark even went away on and gave me his number whilst he was on holiday. That's the sort of service somebody like me and my organisation needs. That's passion, and I like passion.